So we're going to start with the motor system in the arms. The most important thing is in the examining the motor system is testing power. But before we do that, we're going to do a number of other things. Hugh, could I ask you to take your shirt off for me? Thanks. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to inspect the muscles to see whether or not they are wasting or they are fasciculating and those aren't doing any of that. Just beware that in um, people who are very thin, their muscles aren't necessarily wasted. And in people who are very overweight, it's very difficult to see whether their, mus their muscles are indeed wasting or even fasciculating. The next thing is tone, and tone is the resistance to passive movement. And we do that by m holding a joint and moving it. To do this, people have to relax, and a third of people probably can't relax, and testing tone can be quite difficult. But what we're doing is we're moving the muscle up and down, we're putting our thumb on the tendon to feel the tendon, and we're feeling for increased resistance, or which may be of a lead pipe nature or a cog wheeling nature. And if we do it at the elbow and the wrist and with fingers on the tendon, you can feel whether or not there's any cog wheeling or increase in tone. And the same with the other arm. And that feels perfectly normal. But the most important test of the motor system is power. And we test power the same way in every muscle in the body. We've already seen it tested on the facial muscles and on neck flexion. And we make the muscle act, and then we try and overcome it. So we're going to do the left deltoid. So if you move your arm up there. So I'm going to stabilize it with my left hand. And I'm going to imply pressure here. And don't let me push it down. So the muscle's in its position of action. We're stabilizing the joint, and we're pressing down on the muscle. Similarly with the right deltoid, keep it up. Stabilizing it with this hand, push down hard as you can. Good. Moving on to the biceps, bring this arm up, making it act, stabilizing at the elbow, overcoming it. The other biceps, making it act, stabilizing it, overcoming it. Triceps or elbow extension, we're going to make him extend his elbow like that. So it's its position of action. I'm stabilizing it by there, and I'm using the forearm as a lever and trying to overcome it. And the same here, making it act, stabilize, overcome. Wrist extension, hold the forearm there to stabilize it, make it act, and try and push it down. And here, exactly the same. Bring your arm up like that. Keep it there. Don't let me push it down. Good. And here, stabilize it, make it act, try and overcome. Finally, finger abduction. This is probably the most important muscle in the arm. Just spread your fingers right apart, keep them apart. Don't let me push it together. And again, stabilize it by holding it at the wrist. Make, make it act, make the fingers go apart, and try and push them together again. And that's perfectly normal. Now we're going to finish off by doing the tendon reflexes. Could you lie back for me, Hugh? And I'm going to use a patella hammer. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the arms in a nice relaxed position. And we're going to start with the radial jerks. And I'm going to hit the tendon with the patella hammer. And those are nice and symmetrical. It's important to do one side and then the other. With the biceps tendon, put your finger on the biceps tendon because it's a bit sore if you hit it on its own and hit your finger. And again, lean across and hit your finger. So you're comparing the two sides. And start on this side with the triceps tendon, which is in here. There. And again, on this side. There. Good. And that concludes the examination of the motor system in the arms.